All right, thanks for watching. And today I wanna to give you an example of a series where the ratio test is inconclusive, but the root test will save our day, which really shows that the root test is strictly better than the ratio test. Because there's some cases where the root test applies, but the ratio one doesn't. And for this, let's consider the following series, which I like to call the stock market series. So the sum from zero to infinity of 2 to the minus 1 to the n minus n. All right, let's calculate a couple of values here. So um, the first term for n equals 0, we get 1 minus 0, so 2 to the 1 is 2. Then for n equals 1, we get minus 1 minus 1, which is minus 2, and 2 to the minus 2, it's 1 quarter. For n equals 2, we get 1 minus 2, which is minus 1, which gives you 2 to the minus 1, which is 1 half. And then for 3, we get minus 1 minus 3, which is uh, minus, 16, uh, minus 4, and 2 to the minus 4, it's 1 over 16. Etc, etc. And here's why I call it the stock market series, is because it looks like the stock market. So 2, 1 fourth, 1 half, 1 sixteen, 1 eighth, etc, etc. So this is very not stonks, if you'd like. And now, let's see what happens if we apply the ratio test to this. So let's calculate the ratio of successive terms. So let's do a to the n plus 1 over a to the n. Again, everything is positive, so we get 2 to the minus 1 to the n plus 1 minus n plus 1 over 2 to the minus 1 to the n minus n. And then what you get is 2 to the minus 1 to the n plus 1 minus n minus 1 and then minus minus 1 to the n and then plus n, which cancels out here. And then remember, minus 1 to the n plus 1 is just minus minus 1 to the n. So this just becomes 2 to the minus minus 1 to the n plus minus 1 to the n and then plus 1. So 2 to the minus, if you'd like, 2 times minus 1 to the n plus 1. Now, it's a weird, se it's a weird sequence in some sense, but you'll see in fact the sequence itself doesn't really have a limit because um, let's just look at the couple of values. So 2 to the minus 2 to the minus 1 to the n plus 1. Well, let's see. If n equals 0, that becomes 2 plus 1, which is 3. So 2 to the minus 3, which is 1 8. If n equals 1, we get minus 2 plus 1, so minus 1, 2 to the minus minus 1 is 2. And then for n equals uh, 2, this becomes again 2 plus 1, which is 3, so 2 to the minus 3, it's 1, 8. Actually, it alternates. So this thing, so this ratio of successive terms just alternates between 1, 8 and 2. So graphically, it looks like that, 1, 8, 2, 1, 8, 2, 1, 8, 2, 1, 8, 2. Okay. And this is the sequence of a n plus 1 over a n. And well, let's see what the limb soup is. The limb soup is 2, and the limb inf is 1, 8. So notice, the limb inf as n goes to infinity of the successive terms, it's 1 8, and that's less than or equal to 1, and that's greater than or equal to 2, which is the limb soup, as n goes to infinity of the ratio of the successive terms. So you have a case where the limb inf isn't bad, because it's less than or equal to 1, and the limb soup also isn't bad, because it's greater or equal to 1. It's in the opposite cases where things are bad. So in fact, now we're in case 3 of a ratio test, and we conclude that this is inconclusive. So, <laughs> so uh, inconclusive. 
with ratio test. But now, let's do the same thing but with the root test. So now remember what was our sum? We had the sum of uh, 2 to the minus 1 to the n minus n. But let's try to do it with the root test. Well, a n, the nth root of this becomes, so this is positive, so 2 to the minus 1 to the n minus n, the nth root, which just becomes 2 to the minus 1 to the n over n, minus n times 1 over n, which is minus 1, but you see, this sequence minus 1 to the n over n, it just alternates between 1 over n and minus 1 to the n. So shown by the squeeze theorem, this converges to 0. So in fact, what we get is as n goes to infinity, this goes to 2 to the 0 minus 1, which is 2 to the minus 1, which is 1 half. So, since the limit of the roots is one half, in particular, the limb soup of the roots, it's one half, which is less than one. Therefore, what we conclude is actually this stock market series converges absolutely. And so, uh, sum of a n converges absolutely by the root test. So the answer is, no, it's not inconclusive. By the amazing root test, it actually converges absolutely. All right, thank you very much.